Okay. You walk into class and hear your fellow peers wondering what the assignment is going to be for the day. You believe that the assignment should be easy and that you will be able to get work done in other classes. But then the teacher walks in. Everything instantly starts to slow down as though you know something bad is coming. She walks to the front of class and you hear the two dreaded words come out of her mouth. Group projects. Instantly, everything hits you at once. The misery, the hopelessness, and the torment of being forced into a group project. Now, instead of being able to get your work done, you're forced to collaborate with others and ultimately accept having the defeat of doing a group project. And so, there are many reasons as why those three emotions hit you, consisting of having to deal with incompetent people, the terrible grading that you'll get at the end, and the failure to socialize and have to watch the teacher be lazy. We can go graph. Okay. I have conducted 50 interviews with people at the Elm High School, and it conducted that 43 of the 50 believe that group projects are terrible and that they should be refixed and out of our academic schooling. Some of them like the 50, but I think they're crazy people, so. But the reason, there are many reasons as to why they believe this, and the most consistent reason from all of them that they believe that group projects should be removed was the fact that people just seem to be incompetent of doing anything. So the assignments can be so much easier to do with friends, which we all know of, because you have that bond with each other that makes you do the work more efficiently and become more productive while having fun at the same time. But that just gets thrown out of the window when you're forced to work with other people that technically aren't your friends, but rather you're just fellow students. Because then you're forced to work with each other and bounce ideas off one another while trying to get a read on what each other want to do. There are many types of people that can be dealt with during a group project, but I believe the worst kind are the procrastinators. And hopefully we all know those people so we don't get stuck with them. And they're the type of people who don't do work until the very last second, given all of us the anxiety of not knowing when they'll do the work. You're also forced to deal with people who don't do literally anything. So that makes you have to do their part of the work. And then you're forced to pretty much do a group project by yourself. So it's not technically a group project. And I believe that it's Students are then forced to come with terms under with these people, and then they also have to come to terms with the terrible grain that comes towards the end after dealing with the people. The situation that most group projects are in is that the grading is based on overall work rather than individual work. So say I do an excellent example and Grayson does nothing, I then get an F because my grade could be 100% and his would be zero, then I would get an F, which is kind of ridiculous. So I think, and there was a statement that I found on psychology today, psychologytoday.com that states, well, I just said, your A is equal to 100% of the grade, but your partner's grade is 0%, but by putting both together, you get 50% or an F. So even though you work so hard, you still fail. This is a terrible way to do grading, since if only one person benefits, which would be the zero, so they get a 50, the other person suffers who put all the time and effort into the work. It's believed that group projects will help the students gain skills to work effectively through socializing with one another. But rather than socializing, it can't be forced onto one another, but should be left to do on its own. They force them to work with one another and force them to trust one another to get the work done so that you both succeed and pass the class, hopefully. But if that trust gets destroyed, it will result in hatred, which I've had to one another that then wants you to just to pound them into the ground and just make their life miserable. I, f I found a study online that from the Murdoch University of Law that was conducted to determine whether the way that the students collaborated with each other was successful. Over 120 people were interviewed for this and found that 80 said that it didn't matter as long as the work would be finished. So even though you're forced to work with one another, it doesn't really matter because then you could have just done everything online and still get the A. Students suffer with these projects, but when they tend to turn to the teachers for help because they don't understand what's happening and the problem, they are often refused, tending to have to rely on the group. Students, okay. There are times when students will be conducting work excellently, but then when they have one question, they have to go to the teacher, and then the teacher will often tell the group to look to one another for the help. 
which then creates the problem. If I have an issue, so does all my group, so why aren't you helping me get the work done? That way I can succeed in this class. But, the, but I believe it's worse when the teacher is walking around not helping anyone and they're overlooking shoulders, which then create the anxiety to students that simple mistakes are being concluded just because the teacher wants to overlook on my shoulder, resulting in me making more mistakes. In conclusion, group projects are a terrible way to grade students and should be taken out of the school curriculum. The main reasons that I've told you all today, consisting of the terrible people I work with, the terrible grading, and the, oh, and the failure to socialize, and also the, how they depict teachers as lazy. There is a depiction among many students that group projects actually start to help students in society, but rather group projects do nothing but create extra stress for the students because then they don't have to succeed. So even though there is no way that I can think of in short term to stop group projects, I want you all to support my belief that group projects are a terrible thing and should be canceled from the school curriculum. Oh yeah, questions. 